Okay, we'll start with the Mustard R50U. This is a up eyed size 12 dry fly hook. I've got shear 40 naught black. So we'll just attach this and go a little ways back, remove that. And then I want to go just a little past the hook point. I've got two goose shoulder that I've cut two strips out of. We place these back to back. We want quite a long tail on Bristow's bug. That will do us nicely there. So we use a pinch to attach that. That's perfect, excellent, and we can go a little bit further forward. I don't know much about this fly, uh, it was a very popular grayling and trout fly in the UK many years ago, uh, both dry and wet, and many fished the same pattern as both, so without much uh, change in the pattern then we need a, a length of fine silver wire and I'll just attach this on the side here back into the tail base and of course the red tail as many grayling flies have go forward and then we can just go back over that again just flatten my thread hang that out the way so, what we need now is a very bushy, fibery peacock hull. And we want to tie this in. This is an interesting technique because you get a quill body and a hull body at the same time. We tie this in with the butt end, with the fibres facing rear towards the tail. We go forward now. I just want to build that up a little there. There we go. Like so. And then holding the peacock curl. I'll wind the quill forward. You can see I'm getting a quill and a hull body at the same time. And we go to there. Bring our tying thread round the back, tie that off. Turn our vice and remove that. Then we take our silver wire for the rib and we go through on the quill. So, and then we can make a couple of turns there, and we'll lock off that wire, and then we'll remove that with friction. Now, I just want to put a little foundation so I have a nice even surface for the hackle, and go back here. I want a natural white or cream hackle and I've stripped one side of it and we tie that in with a cross and then lock it down with a turn behind and a turn in front and then we can just trim off that we bring that up and again, make sure you tie this all the way down so you get a nice even foundation for the hackle. And then we get a nice 
finished tackle and go forward like so put a hackle plier on that first turn in and then nice turns tight into the previous the nice dense hackle here Let's make our way forward get to that and then I'll take my tweezers and I'll strip off some of those fibres and just bring that around so I get a nice clean bit of stem to tie the hackle off three turns behind pull the hackle back and we'll lock it off and we take our scissors and we'll just Trim that off. Whip finisher. Move the tying thread. And that's the finished Bristow's bug. If you enjoy the videos, please like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.